Tonight, we're gaining new insight into allegations that Reserve Deputy Robert Bates' training records were falsified. Two Works View reporter Nathan Edwards following the paper trail. Nathan, what did you find out? Well, Karen, I sifted through nearly 400 documents trying to learn more about what prompted this investigation in the first place. What we found, multiple employees' concerns about Robert Bates all detailed through months of internal memos. Robert Bates had only been with the department a few months when questions about his qualifications first arose. April 2009, records show Bates failed handgun requirements for Cleet, and according to policy, was supposed to be suspended from the reserve program. But there's no proof any suspension ever happened. In May, a corporal said he felt pressure to sign off on training that Bates did not complete, and says these letters were ultimately falsified. Finally, in August, a training department employee wrote a complaint to Sheriff Stanley Glanz, saying she was pressured by now under Sheriff Tim Albin, asking her to create a training certificate for Bates that she knew was incomplete and false. There was an investigation that, that occurred under, uh, under Sheriff Edwards. And, and what was the outcome of that? I'm not sure. I believe that uh, uh, they found that there was no special treatment. Contrary to the sheriff's statement, the investigation says department leaders did provide special treatment toward Bates and violated department policy. Our radio partner, 1170 KFAQ, spoke with Bates' attorney about the new documents. If this man did something that caused a complaint by either a deputy or member of the public, I know that this sheriff and the leadership would have t taken action. So who investigates the sheriff's office now that we've seen these documents? That's still not clear. But District Attorney Steve Kuntzweiler vows it will be looked into, saying, quote, I am highly concerned about recent allegations that have surfaced, and I have been in contact with independent law enforcement agencies regarding further investigation into these matters. As for the sheriff's office, my calls have not been returned and likely won't be. Tonight, their lawyer stated there will be no further comment on this situation. Reporting, Nathan Edwards, Two Works for You.